Hello YouTube family, welcome back. If you're new here from the playlist, I am Jackie with Mama DIYs. Today I am super excited to be part of the Bloom and Grace $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. It is being hosted by Tammy at Happiness Crafted Crafts. Excuse me for that, I almost forgot. Uh, she has amazing DIY videos on her channel. If you haven't checked her out, go over and check her out. I will have her channel listed down in the description box below. But she does amazing Dollar Tree DIYs. Our second host for this amazing challenge is Brenda with Moners Market. Sorry, Brenda, if I butchered that. But she is also another amazing creator. She does uh, thrift flips and DIYs. And if you haven't checked her out, please go give her some love. And I will also have her channel listed in the description box below. So on with DIY number one. I took some Dollar Tree foam, foam board and cut it out into a B-scape shape. And I'm sorry that it's almost half covered. I uh, thought I hit record when I didn't, so I'm sorry guys. But I'm just taking some Dollar Tree nautical rope and going back and forth covering the B-scape foam form with the nautical rope. So once I got the form covered 
with the nautical rope. I took my glue gun, I made a circle, and I took some scrap nautical rope and just made a circle to make the opening to the beehive. I did two layers of nautical rope on the circle, as you can see in the video. I take some little bees and I just glue them around on the beehive. I take the apple barrel black paint that you can pick up at Walmart for like 50 cents or something like that and just paint the inside of the circle black. So guys, to be eligible for the $100 gift, Amazon gift card, I will be asking you a secret question throughout this video. And you answer that in the comments below. Put three B emojis after your answer, and the drawing will be held on Wednesday the 21st at 8 o'clock over on Brenda's channel. So, I've got my bees glued on, and there it is. I think it turned out cute. So, on to DIY number two. So, in this, I took one of the square wreath forms from Dollar Tree. I wrapped it in some scrap burlap that I had around. I took four bunches of sunflowers, two bunches of cattails, and two bunches of the mini mums from Dollar Tree. And I just hold them all together with some jute cord and tie in a knot to secure them together. I take the remaining jute cord and just wrap it around the rest of the stems. I then well, forgot to cut off the tag, so I'm cutting those off. And I will be taking that little swag of Dollar Tree floor, fall florals and hot gluing it to the reef form. Down on the bottom corner to the left, just kind of offset at an angle. And here I'm placing the bee skeep on the wreath so it all ties in together, DIY number one and DIY number two. Here I'm just fluffing up my flowers, getting them bended in the direction that I want them to flow in.
So next I am, excuse my foot there, uh, next I am taking three of the B ribbons that I've been using in my DIY projects that I got off of Amazon. If I can find them, I will link them down below. The first one I measured at seven inches. I was trying to do my take on the Olivia bow from Olivia's Romantic Home. Guys, I am horrible at making bows. Uh, I wish I was better, but yeah, they're, they're not that great. So I loop it over itself until I had two loops on each side and cut that off. So, so the next ribbon, I do believe I cut it off at nine inches and I just do the same thing of doubling it over on itself until I had two loops on either side and I'll be cutting that off. The last ribbon, I cut it, I measure it at 11 inches and do the same thing of looping it over itself until I had two loops on either side. So my question for you guys to answer is what is your favorite thing about fall? Answer it in the comments down below and I forget what I put. And do three emojis after the end of your question. I think I said bees. I might have said sunflowers, guys. I forgot what I said at the beginning. I'm sorry. But just put three emojis at the end of your answer to my question. So here I'm just using a zip die and tying all three of the ribbon bundles together. And... I made some tails to add to it, glue that onto the back, and just fluffing it out, getting it ready. And there's my foot in the shot again, so I'm taking my wreath, and in between the two bundles of the flowers, I'm going to hot glue my bow onto uh, the wreath. So guys, here is the final reveal of my project for the Bloom and Grace Sunflower and Bee DIYs. I made this wreath for my front door. It can be used now for summer and it goes straight into fall with the sunflowers and the oranges colors. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to check out the playlist down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.